Thank you for investing your time with me today to learn more about our Bite Size Azure series. My name is Jason Lambert. I'm Cloud Technical Consultant for Microsoft Azure at Ingram Micro. And today I look to answer the question, I went through Ingram Micro's marketplace, I purchased my Azure tenant, now what happens? Well, in our system, it usually takes anywhere from say 30 minutes up to three hours to get the uh, credentials that you see or the email credentials that you see here on my screen. Reason being is our system works by FIFO and we basically manage the number of orders on how they were provision or how they were requested through our service. We don't have anyone in the background managing manual order entry to the systems. We really are just dependent upon our two big machines. Uh, so the Microsoft Cloud and Ingram Micros Cloud working together to provision your tenant. Once you receive the email below, it should have your login information as well as your temporary password and a link to portal.azure.com. I've also seen uh, an email that came out that said, you know, welcome to the uh, portal.azure.com. Your tenant has been set up and a secondary email uh, with your credentials. So make sure before you move forward, you have access to your username, your password and portal.azure.com. So here, now that you've got your credentials, you're going to open up your browser and you're going to go to portal.azure.com. Once you land at portal.azure.com, you'll have the opportunity to set a permanent password. I don't have that opportunity here because I didn't get the credentials through the system. I don't have access to that. But basically, once I get my password set, I can go ahead and log into the system and I'll put my username and password in here and then I'll wind up at the Azure control panel. Let's give us a second here. And as you can see, the Azure control panel is built off the same technology that Microsoft built Windows 8 and Windows 10 on with the live tiles and it's really handy to have live tiles because I can access the services that I need when I need them. Over on the left side of the page here, you'll see a, a resource column, and those are favorites that you can, you can move around depending on what you need. And if I click the plus button here, it's gonna actually give me to a list of resources. So I've got compute, networking, storage, you know, all the way through to add-ons, etc., from the Azure Marketplace. And as you can see through here, I've got my storage accounts, my backup accounts, and I can provision new services from this control panel. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you again real soon. Have a great day.